Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, January 16th. A little snowy if you're up in the Northeast. Um, praying that you stay safe today, uh, either inside and warm or safe on the roads. Um, but it's good to start the morning off with all of you. That was uh, Breathe. This is the air I breathe. Uh, and that was actually a performance track, um, but singing that was Ingrid Dumas. Ingrid Dumas. So I hope you enjoyed that as we start the day today. Um, today we're going to be looking at Psalm 65, verses 5 through 12. Psalm 65, 5 through 12. Uh, so, um, and we're going to be talking about breath. But let me say good morning to all of you. Good morning, Donna and Susan. It's good to have both of you here this morning, holding you both in prayer as we begin the day. And Yolette and Barbara, I'm glad you're both here praying for you this morning. And Janet and Celia, welcome, praying for you today. Good morning. 
Daniel and sorry, Daniel and Andrea. I'm glad you're both here praying for you this morning and Megan and Deb uh, and all the saints. I'm glad you're with us this morning. Good morning, Elsa and Marilyn. Welcome. Praying for both of you today and Michelle and Ingrid. It's good to have both of you here holding you both in prayer today. Good morning, Debbie and Al. I'm glad you're both with us praying for you today. And Susan and Andrew, it's good to have you both here praying for you this morning. And Boo Pinder and Blanca, it's good to have you both here holding you both in prayer this morning as well. So uh, it's good to be with you. Today we're looking at Psalm uh, chapter 62, verses 5 through 12. Um, yes, thank you. Praying, praying for blessings in your life too, Bapinder. I'm glad you're with us. Um, so Psalm 62, verses 5 through 12, as you're opening up in your Bibles uh, to that psalm. Um, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I'm blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And uh, on this snowy morning, it is good to start the day off with all of you. So I'm glad you're with us. Um, I hope you know that you are welcomed warmly. It's good to have you here in the midst of the cold. So um, let's take a look at Psalm 62, verses five through 12. For God alone, I've got a noisy watch today, my apologies. There we go. Let's start again. <laughs> For God alone, my soul waits in silence. My hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. My fortress I shall not be shaken, for God rests, oh, on God rests my deliverance and my honor. My mighty rock, my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, O oh people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up, they are together lighter than a breath. Put no confidence in exhortion. Set and set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, do not set your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God and steadfast love belongs to you, O God, O Lord, for you repay to all according to their work. So our devotion today comes from the Upper Room uh, Disciplines 2024. And we've been walking with this, I think her name is Anne Cummings. Well, let me double check. Yes, Anne Cummings. And this is what she says. It's hard to believe the onset of COVID. It's hard to believe the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic was almost four years ago. The pandemic quickly became one of the most divisive concerns of our lifetime. But if you recall, those first few weeks after our country shut down brought out the best in so many of us. This virus that was li literally taking breath away from so many inspired some truly breathtaking acts of generosity, creativity, compassion, and beauty. 
artists were offering free online concerts and art classes. Neighbors were creating scavenger hunts and birthday parties for stir, birthday parades for stir crazy children. We were finding new and creative ways to stay in touch with one another through video conferencing and socially distant out distance outdoor gatherings. And for a brief time, the world saw life both as fleeting and infinitely valued. And it changed the way we treated one another. Psalm 62 reminds us, that this is a perspective we should live our lives with. When we remember that our lives are nothing but a breath, each breath becomes more precious. Not only our own breath, but the breath of all of those around us. Living in this way allows us to see all the stress and worry, division, and hatred in our lives as delusion. And we can breathe in freedom. Take some deep belly breaths today. Let them remind you that you are sustained by the very breath of God. May this reminder calm your spirit and ground you in the eternal love of the God who created you. It is hard to believe that it's been almost four years, almost four years. I always find it interesting because um, I began this devotion uh, before the pandemic, um, in Lent, so it was, um, it's going on almost four years. Uh, we began, I said I was gonna do it for a season of Lent. Uh, had no idea this would continue. Um, but it is interesting to go back and remember, and remember how precious life was in that time, how important breath was. It is easy for us to get so wrapped up in the world, so wrapped up in our daily um, things that we have to do, our daily worries, our daily fears, our concerns. It is easy to, for to forget that God sustains us, that it is not all the energy that I'm pouring out that's going to sustain this day. It is God's very breath that resides within me that sustains this day. It is this breath, this reminder of God's presence with us that is my refuge, my strength, my foundation. So today, as we look out, or wherever you are, uh, perhaps you're looking out at the snow. It's, it's kind of dark still, but uh, I want to invite you. Uh, I do this often, but I, I, it is always a good thing to focus on our breath as a holy reminder of God's divine presence within each one of us. So. Today, take time to breathe. But every time you breathe, I want you, especially if you're around people, to look at someone and be reminded that that same divine breath that resides within you, resides within them. This helps us to begin to see the preciousness of life, not only our own lives, that's important, but to be able to see that in one another, that person it was also, is also loved by God. God breathed life into that person, whether it is your child 
or your neighbor that drives you crazy or your boss that's asking too much of you today. <sighs> Take a breath and remember, it will allow us to see one another with eyes of grace, with eyes um, tuned in to the divine working in each of our lives. We were able to remember that during COVID, at least at the onset of it. We need to do that today. Breath, life is very fragile. Life is very fragile, but it is also very, very valuable. And so today I encourage you to look in the mirror, be reminded God's breath resides within you. The divine breath is within you and them. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, breathe within us today. Remind us that you are so close. Remind us of your grace that is working within each one of us, seeking good, seeking peace, seeking reconciliation, salvation, redemption, seeking transformation. God, pour into us this day that we might remember, remember the last four years Remember how you brought us through. Remember the way we cared for one another. Lord, we need you today. Open our eyes, open our hearts, open our lives that we might be fully aware, not only of your breath that resides within us, but that your very breath resides in our neighbor. The ones that are easy to love and the ones that are more challenging. Help us, Lord, to be sensitive, to be kind and compassionate, to speak words of life and hope, to use our breath for good and not evil, to seek out paths that will bring about transformation, not only in ourselves, but in the world around us. We thank you, Lord, that you woke us up this morning, that there is still breath within us, breath that we can use to praise you, to bring glory to your name. We thank you, Lord, for this breath. Inspire us this day. Fill us with your spirit. Inspire us once again, that we might be the gift of life and love and hope and peace wherever we dwell this day. We ask all of this in you, Lord, our divine breath, as together we pray the prayer you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So today, I invite you to some breathing. Take time to pause, to breathe, to be reminded of God's spirit with you and God's spirit in them, whoever that is for you this day. God loves you, my friends, and so do I. Stay safe out there. Have a very blessed day. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.